so we were in Cusick Park, togged out for the game, team talk was on, everyone was psyched, ready to go, blood flowing out onto the pitch. We knew we had to get a photograph taken, group photo taken, so that was that was taken and we were given 10 minutes to have a warm up. So that we got the warm up in and, and with that I could feel myself getting disorientated and um, feeling not, just not well in myself, dropping footballs, just not well and at that I just called one of the lads. I just said, I'm not feeling well, will you bring me over to the sideline just to get checked and sit down. I got, got sit down into the dugout, they called the physio, that's my brother James, and he was asking what was wrong, I thought my vision was coming and going, and with that, I was talking for a few minutes about that, and my vision went completely, and I just I hit, hit, hit the ground then, collapsed I'm onto the floor. I'm a physio with Atlone GM, also Carl's brother, and uh, just before the throw-in for the semi-final, the lads were doing their final warm-up, but Carl came over to me in the dugout to tell me he wasn't feeling well. He was complaining of shortness of breath, tightness in the chest, and uh, some blurred vision. Uh, recognised that there was something wrong with Carl. Sat him down in the dugout. Uh, his condition deteriorated rapidly in the dugout. He went into slight, slight convulsions and into a fit. Uh, I called for an ambulance. I called for the defib. With that, Carl started fitting, collapsed to the ground. Uh, he fitting on the ground. Uh, help help had been called for the defib had been called for he was in the recovery position while fitting after he stopped fitting obviously he, he'd stopped breathing we commenced CPR commenced CPR straight away done one round of CPR on call help landed as well uh, a, a nurse from the stand came down to help the defibrillator landed we stripped off Carl's chest we used the defib gave him one shock Thankfully, it brought him back. Uh, the ambulance crew landed then, but Carl had regained consciousness, regained breathing at that stage, but it was thanks to the defib that it worked. The availability of the defib, the fact that the battery was in place and the pads were available. Um, we are so grateful because we know of so many stories where people didn't survive. Um, and to have the good use of defibs and people trained in them and that they're kept up to date is so important for um, the lives of people in the future. Behind me you can see, which is absolutely fantastic to see, the generosity from all the people in the country, in the four corners of the country and beyond, of the good get well cards, especially, and there was one from Cork, uh, County uh, Select Work, which is Cork, and it was a fantastic card to get. It's touched Cahill in a lot of ways. So the Forward Hearts programme is a programme where we donate a defibrillator to survivors of sudden cardiac arrest for them to donate onto an organisation of their choice. Um, in the last 18 months we've donated 16 defibrillators to survivors of sudden cardiac arrest and they in turn have donated them to other organisations such as sports clubs, local communities uh, or workplaces. So Cole, I'm delighted to present you with your Samaritan Cheers. Pads defibrillator. Thanks very much Dave. You're welcome. This is going to be great now for the community to use. It's going to be a outside our house. It's going to be monitored by CCTV, easy to get to for people. Um, and it's going to, everyone around the area is going to be trained in how to use a defib.